His first day as a Premier League manager was always going to attract a frenzy of media attention. But Paolo Di Canio's arrival at Sunderland has also come under the political spotlight. The Italian replaced Martin O'Neill as head coach of the Premier League club on Sunday and has defied the opinion on account of his perceived fascist beliefs. The 44-year-old's appointment led to former UK Foreign Secretary David Miliband stepping down as vice chairman. A miners' group associated with the club have described his arrival as a disgrace and a betrayal to those who fought in the Second World War. I don't have to answer any more at that question for one reason, because there was a very, very uh, good, good statement from the club, uh, a very, very clear uh, words that came out from me, and I don't want to talk about any more politics for one reason, because in here, if I'm not wrong, I'm not in the House of Parliament, I'm not a politic person, I want to talk about, about only football. Always there is an issue if uh, the people try to put you in difficulty for a, a ridiculous and pathetic uh, situation uh, which uh, doesn't uh, represent Paolo Di Canio, so I'm not worried. Di Canio's appointment may have come under intense scrutiny, but the former Lazio and West Ham striker has a relegation fight to worry about. The Black Cats sit just a point above the drop zone, and with Lee Catamore and Steve Fletcher out for the rest of this season, how does he rate his new side's chances of survival? You always call me my, uh, the mad Italian, so I will, I will bet uh, uh, all, 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 all what I got, all, what I got, for sure, because I'm sure that uh, I'm capable. We have to always uh, remember that obviously the protagonists are the players, because uh, uh, you can help them a lot to give their best, but they are the protagonists. But this is just because I'm sure we got quality, I can, I can help them to express their the real potentiality, you know, we're talking about we have a good mix of uh, footballers, I'm sure that uh, I can bet a lot of money and become richer than now. De Canio may be able to dismiss concerns over Sunderland's top flight prospects, but it seems some lines of questioning won't disappear so easily. Call uh, Trevor Sinclair, call uh, um, Chris Power, call uh, Phil Spencer, which, which is a Jewish person. Call them and tell them who is Paolo Di Canio. No, oh, it's not about so, racism, it's about fascism. No, and whether, uh, about the, the, the possibility of apologising for okay. the statements you've made in the past. Gentlemen. What? Do you ever feel Hello. that you've needed to apologise for the statements that you've made in Gentlemen. the past? Gentlemen. What I have to apologise? I never made a statement. Are the media that are twisted in a long interview? So I said in my interview yesterday, what's happened? More than this, I can't repeat and repeat forever. Okay, thank you. Di Canio will lead his troops out for the first time on Sunday when Sunderland travel to Chelsea.